Hi everyone, this video is going to show you uh, a few new tools in Google Slides and how you can use them as a teacher and also for, for your classroom for collaboration and projects. Uh, the next time you go into Google Slides, you're going to see a few updates. First, on the bottom here, you could actually change the view of not your standard view where it shows all of your slides in your main you know, slide here. Uh, you can actually click it in a grid view and you could actually zoom out or in as possible. Now why would I actually want to share that? Well sometimes when you're presenting or projecting your uh, slides to your students you may want to be able to kind of compare like two slides next to each other and if you zoom in enough you should be able to see a few slides uh, with ease. So that's kind of nice and sometimes it might be just easier just to be able to click on or double click on a slide to get to it. That's kind of a nice little update. Alright a few other another other updates are um, the incorporation of Google Keep so you notice in Google Docs that if you use uh, Google Keep as a note app, what you could do is actually just go to Tools, go to Keep Notepad, and here not only can you take your notes, but you should be able to actually be able to view your notes and put that information within your um, slideshow. All right, another one is really nice, and I, I don't think it's, I think it's relatively new. I'm going to remove this for a second. I'm going to get rid of this one as well. And this is when it comes to collaboration, um, is that you can now um, use your tools. I'm sorry, you can actually go to insert, and now there's a diagram feature. I know you can insert a chart, which usually kind of comes from sheets, but diagram is kind of nice because here are all these different types of diagrams that you can easily insert into your Google Slides. And a lot of them, you know, you can think about like how many times we have to talk about timelines. Well, you don't have to actually create one. It'll create it for you and you can edit the text, which is fantastic. You share a slideshow. Kids can still work on a, an ongoing timeline all together, and that works out really well. Another one that's kind of a thought about from a teacher talking about how to kind of like do a, put a topic and have students write about the topic. Or, you know, you would put like a, like a discussion bubble and have... You know, you could put something here and then students reply based off that answer as well, which I think is really nice. So if you had like an initial topic for everybody, you could even just make it really long like this. Click here, type the topic in here, and then share this out in Google Classroom or with your students. And all your students could actually put in their information within here that relates to this. Now I know this is kind of a hierarchical uh, diagram, but you can use it however you'd like. You know, you could even manipulate where everything is but it's already pre-made for you so I think it's really nice that, that that's available and that you as a teacher could send this out to your students with information as well as your students to be able to reply to it that way and you could easily just make any new slides and be able to import more information just using this here and there's all different types that are available that might be more beneficial for you Heck, even at this point, you could even do something where it even displays like how a tournament works, which is really fantastic. So those are a few new uh, tips here in Google Slides, which is being able to go to insert and create a diagram, being able to view different views in Classroom, I'm sorry, in Google Slides, and also being able to go to your tools and opening up your Google Keep notepad to be able to add notes or, put, or take notes within a slideshow. Hope you enjoy.